I'm Sarah, and this is just a quick uh, Fallout 3 video. Uh, I've been trying to do a bit of a pacifist um, run through Fallout 3, uh, largely unrecorded. I'm not the first uh, person ever to have the idea of a pacifist Fallout 3 uh, series. There's a there was even a guy who made a let's play of it on uh, YouTube, but he, he gave up. But I'll try and put the links to what he did make uh, in the uh, description field, maybe even there's a little bit of an annotation on this video. Um, anyway, I've been trying to play this um, largely uh, pacifistically and not recording any of it un until now. And uh, as you see, so far I've I'm I've stayed with my general rules. I've not killed any people. I've been willing to kill creatures like um, uh, certainly in, in my way into this place. This is just Vault 112. I was able to kill off uh, some mole rats and some rad roaches without any major remorse. But uh, I was also chased down by some uh, mercenary company, Talon Company mercenaries. Uh, whom I simply tried to evade instead, so you can see I've, I've invested a lot in my sneak skill. And failing that, I'll just run <laughs> and try and avoid what dodge whatever shots they're firing at me. And so far, uh, so good. Oh, spoiler warning, by the way, this is a, a good ways into the game, or at least a bit of a ways into the game. Um, so if you haven't played through Fallout 3 and you don't want to get anything spoiled, you should probably stop watching now. Uh, but if if you don't mind spoilers, or if you have uh, played through it, um, basically, uh, looking for my dad, I have to get into this sort of whole game inside the game, this sort of uh, virtual reality computer game sims type of thing. Uh, in here, called Tranquility Lane, and it presents a very naughty dilemma for uh, a pacifist. Uh, right, so, once we get our visuals back... One problem I've had with this game is that it is exceptionally unstable for some reason. It keeps freezing on me. Okay, I've actually reduced video quality now just in the hopes that that'll uh, help with the crashes. Anyway, so Betty over here. Hi there. Oh, this is me in, in this uh, computer simulator tranquility lane type thing, by the way. The kid. So is Betty. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And I'm looking for my father, basically. Gee, I don't know. What's he like? Well, he's actually a scientist looking for someone called Dr. Brown. <laughs> That's your daddy? Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Uh... And she definitely wants me to play some games, but the thing is, if you want to do game, play games with her... I knew you would! It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbomb cry. <laughs> uh, well, that's not what my pacifist wants to do. What kind of game is this? It'll be funny. Make him cry, and then come back here. Uh, Betty. You're supposed to be making Timmy cry. You can do it. I know you can. When you win the game, maybe we can talk some more. And she's not going to be helping me unless I do that kind Tell of Timmy stuff. Tell Timmy I said hi. And doing the kind of stuff that she wants is going to bring me bad karma. I mean, as a pacifist, I suppose, um, I, I wouldn't, uh... Want to do anything ba Hi there. bad I'm to Timmy? Timmy. Want to play? But I mean, this is so far. It's just 
it's not nice to, for example, tell this guy that he that he's th a, a re the reason for his parents' divorce. You're a big dumb liar. And in this case, I wasn't even able to convince him. I could punch him a bit. It's not like I'm going to kill him. Stop! You're going to get it now. But of course, uh, doing this doing Betty's kind of work is going to make me lose karma because it's bad. Bad. It's not the kind of stuff my pacifist wants to do. You sure showed him, didn't you? I suppose it wasn't the most cerebral way to deal with the situation, but it was definitely effective. And with that, you win a prize. And as you can hear, there's definitely more to Betty than, what it, than the innocent little girl that she sounded like uh, in the beginning. Um... Maybe I should have her explain what this place really is within the game. Tranquility Lane is a simulation, a reality designed to play home to the denizens of Vault 112. It was my last and greatest project. I'm quite grateful that I was placed directly in charge of it. There have been unexpected benefits to living here. Yeah, like you being in charge here and getting to boss everybody around, eh? Isn't it obvious by now? You've only been here a short while, and you're already doing just as I ask. And now we come to your next game. So what do you want me to do this time? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married, and I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. Rationalize it any way you'd like. Now, there is someone in the, in this whole simulation who has another idea. You, you don't belong here. It's not real, none of it. It needs to end. So this is the only person in this simulation who realizes she's, she's actually in a simulation. How do I get out of here? We're not really here. We're not. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It he calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the failsafe terminal. Failsafe? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there. It's the only terminal to the outside. So I can go into the uh, abandoned house and try to put a stop to this evil man's machinations. Um, I've got to find the abandoned house first though. So this one it could be. And I've been able to uh, solve a little puzzle here. Yeah. Again, this is a spoiler warning. If you don't want help, don't want help uh, solving puzzles in the game for me, you'll want to look somewhere else because I'm going to solve the puzzle puzzle here now. And I can't forget. Remember whether it was this one or that one again? No, it wasn't that one. Uh, you hear that quack quack sound that means you're doing something wrong. So you get the failsafe terminal, which is over here. And uh, you can read about the Chinese invasion program. Which is the failsafe, but unfortunately, in the documentation, uh, they will explain that uh, this failsafe, if you activate it, your real world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. And so. If I, yeah, I should exercise extreme caution. If I start off this Chinese elevation failsafe, it's gonna 
start off a, a, a simulated Chinese invasion. Uh, that's gonna kill everyone! For real! Not just within the simulation, also the people who are sitting in the pods outside. They're gonna die for real! And... Oddly... Doing that is gonna get, gain me good karma. <laughs> um, whereas... Continue to do what Betty or Mr. Brown wants. I'm waiting to see how you handle the Rockwells. Is lot understandably gonna get me evil karma. Um, so far it seems like the, the less lesser evil. I mean, okay, I'm doing bad stuff to people, but it's not like I'm killing anyone. So you can rationalize this as being for their own good, you know. Hello. Maybe I can if I can just Hello. get out of here. I can help people, maybe. Well, hi there. So I'll lie to this woman and tell tell her that her husband is cheating. It's that Martha Simpson, isn't it? I knew it! Roger, you son of a bitch. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? What? Janet, what are you talking about? Don't you lie to me. Did you honestly think you could skulk around with that whore and no one would see you? Janet, what the hell are you talking about? Well, someone saw you and Martha, Roger, and I heard about it, so now I know for sure. Who told you that? They're lying, I swear it! You fucking coward! I can't stand the sight of you! Get away from me! And I keep losing karma. But so far, I mean, I'm, I'm a big, real mean little sleazeball, but I'm not killing anyone. Poor Janet and Roger. So... You have achieved your goal, and at least you are cooperative. You have amused me thus far. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. Where's Dad? He's here, and he is unharmed. Where? If you continue to behave and do as I ask, I may be willing to release both of you. All right, but well, you can guess what the next uh, request is. He, she is going to make is going to be. Oh, come now! Sh there are fewer rules this time. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. Please put some effort into it. Do something creative. So, and that's where it starts to get tricky. I mean, I know from reading. Uh, Dr. Braun's notes that uh, it's just going to be a killing inside the simulation. The, the the real Mabel Henderson is still going to be alive inside of her pod to be resurrected in the simulation later on. But, I mean, killing is what our pacifist doesn't want to do. And I could already tell you that uh, if If I go on with this, the next quest is going to be killing everyone. Again, not for real. Uh, they're going to stay alive within the simulation. I'm going to lose lots of karma doing that. So, I mean, what would you do if you were a pacifist? Uh, what do you think I should do? So you can leave your answer to that in a comment below. And, uh, yeah, just give me some feedback. What do you think a pacifist should do? Uh, and uh, I can't guarantee that there's going to be any other more, other more videos in this um, Fallout 3 series, but I will promise you that I'll, I'll if I get some feedback, I'll use uh, whichever answer you come up with uh, and continue my, my playthrough, and maybe there'll be another occasion for me to uh, make a video if something really interesting uh, comes up. I'm not going to make a full let's play of, of this because I've just gone way too far into the game without recording anything and I'm not going to start over but you know if you thought it was interesting I mean I might make another video later on if something particularly interesting comes up and basically you get to decide uh, which solution I should choose oh and by the way I should say one thing uh, 
the thing I tried first was to just go through with, with, with whatever Betty wants to virtually kill them, although they're alive in, in real life, and get out of here, and then try to help them, but apparently I can't, because uh, once I've completed the quest, uh, I don't seem to. There doesn't seem to be any way outside of the simulation to get people out of it. I can't like open the pods and rip people's out of the simulation or, or, or whatever. They just, they, Bethesda just didn't put in any options for me to do that. So um, <laughs> that's kind of annoying, actually, because that would really be the good thing to do, I think. To, but Bethesda didn't think of that apparently. <laughs> Uh, they think purely in terms of good and evil, but still they think good and evil in pretty odd terms sometimes. <laughs> Which is also interesting, I think. So Yeah, just leave leave what a suggestion you think I should do, and we'll see how many people, if any, <laughs> take an interest and in think I should either just go on doing Betty's will and virtually kill people, but leaving them to continue their rather miserable existence in this uh, simulation, or to activate the failsafe and sort of put them out of their misery. Uh, what should I do as a pacifist? Remember, this is still... Oh yeah, I don't have access to my stats in the simulation, but this is still a, a friendly Nick. Uh, supposedly a, a pacifist. So yeah. For once, I'm going to really ask for comments. Uh, you don't have to... I mean, by all means, you can click like or dislike if you want. But I'm real, what I'm really after here is, is feedback. So uh, thanks, everybody. And I'll see you for some other video about something, anyway, later on. Until then, guys, go in peace, live and let live.